Question 1. Fantasy Limited has provided the following information that relates to the year ended 30th of June 2013. Now, we've got a whole heap of lists of accounts, but we've also got down at the bottom here some additional information. So let's have a look at some of this additional information. Sales figures required, uh, sales figures include an amount of 20,000 that was received by Fantasy Limited as a deposit for goods that are due to be delivered in August 2013. So it sounds like we've got some accruals in place. The prepaid rent relates to monthly rent on Fantasy Limited's retail outlet in Flemington, which is paid on in advance on the 15th of the month. So we've got obviously we've got some more accruals. The directors decided not to pay any dividends. Okay, so let's just look at this additional information first. Um, because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, provide an income statement and a balance sheet. So we've got two things here: income statement and balance sheet, okay? But let's just look at the additional information. So of this amount here, it's saying that 20,000 relates to the next year. So it looks like my uh, income figure is going to be 1,700, 1,700,080 dollars. Oh no, I've said that number. 1,780,000. So, and we're going to have to create a prepaid revenue account of $20,000. Okay, so that ticks off taking care of that for the moment. It also says the prepaid rent relates uh, to the monthly rent on the retail outlet, which is paid in advance on the 15th of each month. So if this is a full month of rent, it's paid in advance of the 15th, so that means that we've already used up half of that rent. So that means my prepaid rent is no longer 6,000, it's 3,000, and 3,000's got to go into here, which is rent expense. So that makes that 43,000. Okay, so we've got an adjustment of my prepaid rent into my rent expense of $3,000, which is half the month. 15th of the month is half. Okay. Now, the first thing I need to do when I look at some of these items is to classify them. So I need to classify, and we classify into, because we're doing our income statement first, income, expenses, current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, and equity. So I've got seven classifications that I'm looking to do here. Okay, so let's classify some of these. What's my accounts payable? Current liability, accounts receivable, current assets, accrued wages, current liability, Accumulated depreciation of equipment. Negative non-current asset, yes. Cash at bank. Current asset. My cost of goods sold. Expense, yep. Depreciation expense, well that's a giveaway. Equipment at cost. Non-current asset. Gain on the sale of an investment. This is actually an income, so because it's a because we had sold it, so we realised the gain. We've got some more expenses in general and admin, general reserves. That's equity. Income tax expense. Well, that's easy because it's expenses. Interest expense tells me again. Inventory. Current asset. Current asset. Loan payable in 2015. Non-current liability, yep. Prepaid rent. Yep. Rent expense. That's easy. Retained earnings. Equity, yep. Sales is income. Selling expenses is expense. Share capital. Equity and wages paid. Oh yeah, we'll put this in as expense at the moment, but I've got accru accrued wages up here and I've got wages paid. 
So I think I need to plus my accrued wages and my uh, wages paid and that should be 50,000 plus 500,000 and that should equal 550 and that's my wages expense. So I've got a little calculation there of this number which is paid plus what's accrued so that should equal my wages expense. Now I know we didn't do too much of uh, building back accounts but that's how you do it. Okay so now we get to the fun bit. We now need to create ourselves. What was it that we had to do? Required, use the information in the above table as well as the additional information to prepare an income statement. So what's the first thing I need to do when I prepare an income statement? Title, yes. So I've got income statement. For, what's the name? Fantasy Limited. Limited, yep. What else do I need to write? For the year end, yep. And that's the 30th of June, 2013. And that information's up here. So 30th of June, 2013. Okay, so let's have a look now. What's the first thing I need to put in when I put in my? Yep, yeah, my sales. So my sales is one million seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. I'll tick that one off. The next line item I need to look at is my cost of goods sold because we're putting it in as it should appear. Cost of goods sold and my cost of goods sold is nine hundred thousand and that's a negative. I'll put a total in here that total is 880,000 and then less less, oh, hang on, I'll tick off my cost of goods sold less this gain on the sale of investments, my other revenue or my other income so less my six, uh, no, uh, no, plus I should say, not less, it's revenue plus my gain on sale which is 16,000 and that gives me 896,000 which is gross profit so I've got the first part of my income statement finished now I'm doing my less expenses Alright, so now I've ticked off my cost of goods sold. What's my next expense? Well, depreciation is the next on the list. Um, have we got any above that? No, depreciation. Um, let's go from biggest to smallest. I'm going to put in my wages expense first. Wages. And we worked out our wages to be 550. So I'll just tick those both off. So I've taken care of that one. And taken care of that one, I should say. Okay, what's my next biggest one? My selling expenses. I work my way from the ground up. Selling expenses. Which is 170,000. I've got interest expense here of 5,000. Uh, I'm going to leave income taxes for the moment because that goes right at the very end and admin which is 55,000 and we've got cost of goods sold already ticked off 
So is that all my expenses? Uh, am I missing any? Oh no, I am. Depreciation. Depreciation's 15,000. Any others I'm missing? Oh yeah, rent. There's rent expense. 43,000. Okay. So I'll tick off my rent, tick off my depreciation. Just quickly check, general admin. Okay. All right, so I've got 550, 5, 627, 27, 25, 730, 780, 795, 838. So that'll give me profit before tax. Profit before tax, and how much is that? 96. Uh, 62, uh, no, 62 less 4, 58,000. And then we've got to put in income tax. And my income tax is up here at 20,000. And of course, my income tax is 38. And this is my net profit.